Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. There was a blockbuster trade that just occurred in the NBA. Toronto has decided to trade OG Ananobi to the New York Knicks. OG Ananobi has been sitting at the Toronto Raptors for many years, and he was not going to be able to win on a team that is going nowhere. They're struggling right now, and it looks like they're going to be doing a total re Rebuild. So it would not be shocking if guys like Pascal Siakam are also traded in the future. But OG Ananobi is out, and he's going to a team that is at least contending in the NBA right now. The Knicks might not be one of the best teams in the NBA, but they are a solid team, and they have quality players like Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson that definitely help New York compete in the East. And OG Ananobi is going to help big time. But what did the Knicks have to give up to get OG Ananobi? Because you know it was a lot. Toronto did not want to get rid of OG Ananobi for a cheap price, and it was not a cheap price. RJ Barrett. Emmanuel quickly and a second round pick are all gone from New York. They're going out to the Toronto Raptors. Now, Precious Achua, he's also going to be traded to the New York Knicks along with OG Ananobi. So that will help the New York Knicks on their bench getting a solid player in Precious Achua, a young player that still has a lot of room to develop. But I think that this trade is a win for both teams. Neither team really won this trade by a whole lot more. And I don't really think either team necessarily lost this trade because, yes, it is tough that the Raptors are going to be losing OG Ananobi and it's also tough that the Knicks are going to be losing RJ Barrett and Emmanuel quickly because both those players are solid. RJ Barrett is younger than OG Ananobi but he's also more expensive which is kind of interesting. If you look at the money that all these players are making, RJ Barrett is on a $24 million deal that is going to be making even more money as the years go by. Emmanuel quickly he's a cheap bench player that was only going to be making $4 million this year and then if you look at OG Ananobi he's only making $18 million a year and that's going to be up to a close to $20 million a year next year. Precious Achua, he's a fairly cheap player just like Emmanuel Quickly. So when you look at it in the financial aspect, this is actually a win for the New York Knicks because they're getting a cheaper player in OG Ananobi who's probably going to help them win more. Because I know R.J. Barrett scores points just like OG Ananobi does, but Ananobi is a better defender. He is one of the best defenders in the NBA, and the Knicks' identity is trying to be a defensive first team. With all those great teams in the East like the Bucks and the Celtics, you have to be good on defense if you're going to have any shot to compete in the East. And OG Ananobi is exactly what the doctor ordered for the New York Knicks. I think that is a perfect pairing. R.J. Barrett going to the Raptors is a good pairing for them because R.J. Barrett's from Canada. He has that connection there, so he's going to play really hard for Toronto being back in his home country. Plus, he's a younger player, and he wants to shine, and he'll probably – perform even better at Toronto, even though he's not going to be winning. It stinks for him, and he's going from a better team to a worse team, but he's going to be able to get to shine more, and possibly if he does really good in the future, maybe Toronto can either build around him and finally start having some more success in a few seasons, or if things don't work out, they can retrade him to another team, and he'll be just fine, and he'll still be in his prime, and he won't be aged out, and he'll still be able to have success somewhere in the NBA. OG Ananobi, he's a couple years older. He wants to win now. He's starting to enter his prime. He's a better three-point shooter than R.J. Barrett as well, which will definitely help out the Knicks. They need to be able to shoot three, especially when they got guys like Josh Hart, who do struggle from the outside. Having Jalen Brunson and O.G. Ananobi, who are both deadly from the three-point line, that's definitely going to help. I think one part of this trade that slightly stinks for the Knicks, though, is losing Emmanuel quickly. They never started him, and he is a rapidly improving player. He's probably going to be starting for the Raptors in a short time, maybe immediately, because he is going to end up being a star, I believe. I don't know how good he's going to be, whether he's going to end up being one of the top 10 to 15 guards in the NBA. But he's got springs in his legs, and he's got the tools to possibly become a Tyrese Maxey type of player if he can continue to improve. So the Raptors, they got a gem in Emmanuel quickly. It's just tough that the Knicks were never able to start him. He was one of the best players off the bench in the NBA at such a young age. So that is a tough loss, but I don't believe that it is too much to overcome for the Knicks because they need to win first players now, and that's what they're getting in OG Ananobi. And Precious Achua will 
will help having a guy off the bench. As you can see here, the grade that this article gives is a B-plus for the Knicks, and for the Raptors, they give it a B. I do believe that it is tough that the Raptors are getting a more expensive player in R.J. Barrett that's not going to help them win, but the Raptors, they're not in the market to win. They know that. They're struggling. The Knicks want to win, so they're getting a proven product in O.G. Ananobi, one of the best 3 and D players in the NBA. He's a fantastic defender. He was on the all-defensive team last year, so he's going to help boost the Knicks' defense. He's a great three-point shooter. He's a good teammate. And R.J. Barrett's going to be going back to his home country. I think that will help out the Raptors as well. I've seen mixed opinions on this trade online. A lot of people are up and down. on This is what I said on Twitter. This is a great move for Ananobi, so he can finally be on a team that is contending. It's a tough loss for the Knicks to lose Emmanuel quickly, though. He's a player with a lot of promise. The trade does help both teams. It's not a bad trade either way. It is also tough that they're losing R.J. Barrett because he does score a lot of points, but he's still a young player that is going to want to be able to possibly shine more right now, and then maybe he can go to a better team in the future if things do not work out at the Raptors. Someone said here that the Raptors got fleeced. I don't think that's the case. This is a great point someone made here. Quickly, clearly wasn't in New York's future plans, and OG is better than RJ as a standalone. This is a lot to give up, though. I can't help but feel the Knicks have another pre-deadline move coming using their draft picks. This feels like part one piece of a bigger picture plan. It definitely could be. Another person says the Raptors got fleeced. I don't think it's a bad trade. You could say the Knicks have won the trade right now because that's the case. That's why it looks like a fleecing. The Knicks won the trade right now, getting a proven player in OG Ananobi that's going to possibly help them win this year. But in the future, they can get a lot of assets for RJ Barrett in the future, or maybe they can build around him if he improves. During Emmanuel quickly, if they keep him around, he looks to be an improving player, or they could trade him as well to get a lot of assets if he rapidly improves and another team wants him. So I don't think either team lost the trade. The Knicks won the trade now. The Raptors possibly won the trade in the future. But what a big blockbuster trade that came out of nowhere. I'm happy for OG Ananobi that he's now going to be on a contending team in the New York Knicks. And it will be interesting to see how RJ Barrett does out at the Toronto Raptors. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about this trade. If you were surprised that this trade did happen, I was. I was not expecting this trade to happen right now, especially with how much the Raptors were trying to keep Ananobi until they got a really good deal. But I do think that they got a solid deal in return, getting RJ Barrett and Emmanuel quickly from the New York Knicks. As tough for the Knicks to give up as much as they did. But let me know whether you think that the Knicks or the Raptors won this trade and which team you think is going to benefit more from this trade right now and in the future. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description. And I'll see you next time.